All right, you guys, this is going to be a big one. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my monthly Franklin Covey setup for November. So I told you guys that I would be switching over to my new binder in November, which is what we're doing. So these are both the vintage Auroras from Franklin. These were the new releases in the fall catalog. And I bought one of each in each color. So I've got the purple Plumeria and the blue Mirage. Now, Purple Plumeria is my favorite because I love purple. It's just chef's kiss. But look at this sucker. Look how full that is. And so as I was going through, I realized that I don't use a lot of this stuff yet. I, perhaps I will use it in the new year. I do kind of come back to my planner just to kind of reevaluate to see what I've been using, what hasn't been working for me. I do like to stick with one system. So when I say system, I don't just mean one planner. I mean the entire system that works for me. So I have my own business and it is all online. I have a lot of things going on in my business. So it's not just YouTube. I actually have two YouTube channels. I've got this one, which thanks to you guys, we just hit a thousand subscribers at the beginning of October. So thank you again for your support. You guys are so great and so wonderful. You leave comments. I just love all the feedback. And thank you to any new people who have re recently subscribed. We're going to have a lot of fun throughout the next couple of months because December we will be doing plan miss and weekly vlog miss as well. And oh, it'll be my first time doing those things. So we're going to experience it together. I think it's going to be a fun time. So I have my main YouTube channel. I've got my makeup beauty YouTube channel at Sandra Doll Beauty. And I also have an online sticker shop. I'm kind of excited because in this video, you guys are going to get to see some of the new designs I printed off. I printed a whole bunch out last night. So we're going to be using them today. And I also have a blog, which I post weekly. It's Monday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And I also transfer that to a site called Medium, which is also uh, potentially like a potential site that you can monetize your content. So if you are another blog reader, you have to sign up for Me Medium and you can apply for monetization to make money from your work. So that's another thing that I do. Also, I am a mom of two children. My oldest is seven. He's in grade two. And my youngest is 18 months on November 1st. You know, things have been really busy. My, my husband works out of town. He is currently working in BC right now. He works for two weeks away. He comes home for a week. So I have adapted my schedule based on his work schedule. And so far, it's been working for me. But uh, today's video, what we're going to do is reduce the clutter. So this is why it's going to be a big video. So not only are we switching over to a new binder, we're going to switch a few things, switch some dashboards. I'm a little disappointed because I wanted my, or I guess October box uh, from Cloth and Paper to come in, but it hasn't come in yet. So when that happens, if it's like next week or the week after, we'll switch it during a weekly plan with me. But for today, let's get started. I already have all of my monthlies out, all of my new stuff. And technically, because I'm keeping the majority of this content in here, I don't really need to pull any of this stuff out. But I will, I guess, because it, it would be nice to start fresh, you know. Um, let me open up this guy. So the Blue Mirage, I haven't even taken out any of the pieces inside. And I'm not sure if I want to keep the clear dashboard or if I want to change it to the black one. Um, the pen I'm going to be using this month for November is this one from Simply Gilded. I think it is a fairly recent one that I got from Simply Gilded subscription box. And um, yeah, it doesn't have a brand name or anything. It's just Simply Gilded on the little the clip here. But look how beautiful that is. It's like this dark gray with like these tiny sparkles. And then it has like a moon and some constellations and stars. It's just really pretty and even though it doesn't really match it kind of matches i think this color of like i want to refer to it as like an ocean ocean blue or an ocean teal or maybe maybe even like a persian blue it's almost or a persian green this color just kind of goes with it i think so this is what i'm using for this month 
Usually I stick with my gold Pentel Energel pen. Those are my favorite pens hand down. hands down. I get the needle tip um, refills and it just, I always get the 0.7 because I like writing a little bit with a juicier pen, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so I'm just going to pull these pieces out here. I do have a few notes in here. I've got some of the sticky notes I'll be using. I'll put the pen aside. I also have this highlighter I'll be using this month. This is the 990. It's either sand or tan. I can never remember. But I thought that would go well with the binder this month. I also pulled out the November cloth and paper things I'll be using and then these are cloth and paper and this is simply gilded so it kind of matches with the pen and kind of matches with the color so we'll see if we can pull this out easy there we go and voila everything is ready to go so I'm just put the blue binder up here um, I feel sad to be leaving my beautiful purple binder it's so pretty so the first thing that I'll be doing um, I will pull over the clear dashboard like these are like the page lifters I have been using it as a dashboard so I've been putting my sticky notes on and I'll do the same thing here but what I was thinking what I was thinking is just using it as an official dashboard so if there's a quick note that I want to write down instead of opening up to the page especially when you're on the phone and you're in a rush so I'll write my note here and then take it off and then stick it on the, this like plastic thing and then when I go later on, I do my planning routine, I take that information and I put it in the appropriate place in my planner. So that's going in first. We'll add the sticky notes after. The other thing that I'm doing is getting rid of all of the top tabs. I'm also going to remove all of my uh, kind of designs that I've added. So I did print these on my Cricut machine. Technically it's easy enough to print, like just to cut it. So I got, this piece of paper from Michael's. It was like one of those scrapbooking paper. And all I do is um, you measure out the size for Franklin uh, Classic. This is a classic size binder. So the half page letter, I think it's 5.5 .5 by 8.5. And you cut it out that way. But I just did it on my Cricut machine because it was easy. I did like 12 of them in a row. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned, these take up, like these make everything bulky. And the only reason I put them on there was just to keep everything together. So these are coming out. For now, I'm just going to leave everything in this binder. And I do like this together. But I really do want to minimize my binder. So we'll change this one to info. And um, these are the some of the little labels I made and it doesn't look like they're coming off that nicely. I got my like these clear dividers. I got them from Dividers R Us and she also sent a couple of well, I think I had one per pack. I had bought in two packs or I think I got three I guess. So I got the top dividers and two of the side dividers. So I got a couple of these and I did buy some extra. The first tab is going to be info which we have on here. So I'll take that and put it here. It's just, I think this, this is going to bug me. So I'm just going to scrape it off here if I can. Technically I could get alcohol and just clean off the glue, but I'm just going to leave that for now. Info. There we go. And I'm just going to pop it into my new binder. I'll leave the dashboards to the side for now. And then goals and values will all go together. So these are the values. I will keep the goals tab just the way it is. And this one might be my cover page. I like that. So values will go first and I might just use like a cloth and paper um, tab, like a round side tab just to differentiate. Um, this is something that I made myself, but I did create it from cloth and papers. I think it was called like the overview yearly overview or something like that. I'm not reproducing this. This is just strictly for my own my own use. I would never ever do that because obviously that's copyright infringement. But um, I'll show you what I did. So I just drew it out from scratch, um, very exactly like cloth and paper, but it's only because cloth and paper does not have this, um, you cannot buy it in the half letter size. 
Um, it might come in a subscription box later on in the year. I don't know. But I just created it for myself because you can't get it in this size. So this is staying in here. And as for these actual goal forms, I'm not happy with them. And my goals have already changed. So I'm just going to pull this out. Oops, and I'm putting this in the wrong binder already. So this will go in the new binder. These are going to stay in here because this isn't coming with me. Now this one, so I had information. Oops. <laughs> I had info. I had goals. The next one is going to be month. So there's oops, the monthly. I'll put it in the new binder. And then what I've been doing at the beginning of the monthly, I'm going to have like the overview, like the future log type thing. So I'll just have that before the monthly tab. I'll just have to remember it's there. The top tab is getting removed. So that one stays in here. I like this dashboard too, so I'll leave it aside. And I still like these, so I might put those in here. And then once I get this binder set up, we'll review everything with you guys. So we'll go through all of my October goals and see how I did. And then I need a side tab, so I have to jump to this expense tab here. I'm gonna scra scrape off the label. And we're putting on weekly. And that goes into the new one. We'll add the weekly journaling area. This again, I'm just going to put it underneath the monthlies that we'll kind of go over. Keep that all together. And then this is the daily tab. Again, we'll keep it together. Um, I don't think I want to use this one. It's a one minute habit. So we'll just leave it here. But we do need another tab, which is the routine tab here for me. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the routine cards yet. So like they're my task cards. We'll take a look once we get into the new binder. Right? And then this one will be daily. And you guys, part of the reason why I am downsizing my planner, because it got so chunky and so heavy, I didn't want to take it anywhere. I don't, I use it daily. Of course, I use it every single day. But it was just getting, oops, again, wrong binder. It's just getting so chunky and hard to open even. And these are the 1.5 inch rings. And November is... November is going to be a busy month. Obviously, we're getting into the Christmas season. It is crazy, but it was mostly because um, November is a prep month for December, and December is going to be the crazy busy month for me, as for a lot of people. And um, I'm kind of working, I'm, I'm thinking about working on a new goal system. So I'll let you guys in on that when we're further through the video here. Okay, so the next one is home, which we're not using anymore. Um, I do have some ideas coming up for the new year as well, involving different planners. I know I've kind of mentioned it in the past a little bit, but I want to talk you guys through what I've decided to do. So I'm going to pull out my task card. If you guys haven't seen this, I first heard about it from Marsha from Buy, Sell, Plan. So thank you again, once again, Marsha. I know I've said thank you a million times, but... I did hear it first on her channel. I'm pretty sure she's not the first person to have ever done that, but that's where I heard it. So um, I'll give credit to her where credit is due. And I just use, instead of like buying task cards, which you can, you can get them from Amazon or from Etsy shops, but I actually use these washi tape cards from Simply Gilded. You can also buy washi tape cards on Amazon. And I just cut them down to size so they fit this like um, card holder, like picture album holder thing. And then I label it according to how I do my my you know my my routines my daily weekly monthly yearly planner routines and I just did it in here I just relabeled these recently to really reflect how I plan so and again this is just planning in my Franklin planner I do plan differently in all of my other planners and I've got a lot you guys I've got like 14 or 15 notebooks different things and they're not all planners they're like journaling journaling activities um I'll let you guys in on a few things 
one of them involves this book here. It's called Manifesting Magic This Year, and it's how to find your word of the year. So we'll talk about that in a minute too. But anyway, so we'll leave this to the side with the dashboards because I don't know where it's going to go yet. And then as for all of my other tidbits, expense tracker, I'm not going to keep in here because I am using the Budget Mom expense tracker. But all of these little things, so I've got routines. I did redo this one, made it look more fall. Um, these are just like everyday routines. My projects, my day themes, my life categories. These are going to go in the notes section, which will also include lists and stuff like that. And I'll use this one here. Okay, this is the bottom one. So we'll go to, I guess that there's like ideas, lists, and notes. I'll just use notes because there's probably going to be a lot of different information in that one. Okay, notes is the last category. And then this didn't really do anything that was kind of pointless. I do have some information for my daughter there that I'll keep. And then I'm just going to go through the rest of this to make sure there's nothing else I want to keep. Honestly, I haven't really used the meal planner at all. Um, I've been making my list somewhere else. Even my inventory, I haven't really used it. The wine list is one thing that I have, and so are this non-food items. I usually, because I'm using my Happy Planner home right now for all of my grocery uh, stuff and my home stuff, again, it's going to change in January, but I've been using this quite often, so I'll leave that in the notes section. Um, cleaning, pull that one out. I really like those vellum dashboards, they're really pretty. Cleaning, I don't really care about. <laughs> I hate cleaning, so you know, I really don't care about it. Um, I'm just going to pull all my paper clips out of there. Shopping. Um, I'll keep this list of nonfiction books. These are all of my books, actually. My business supply ideas. So again, that'll go in notes. Wellness. Hmm. Did I use wellness? I don't think I used it. So th these are these sections here. I haven't used them at all. And I do have like a couple of sheets from cloth and paper so the rest of this stuff in here I do have a storage binder so when I'm not on camera I'll just take the rest of the stuff and put it away where it's supposed to go but yeah that'll be a project all to itself the next one was lists so I just had some paper in here I'll put that in the new binder and then I had notes that's a life organization system the brand outline important to me so that stuff is just going to be put under my notes section as well and then oh, i like this one this is one from the digital downloads that you can get and i just printed it on my own vellum but the vellum i got from amazon was really flimsy so i might try to find some thicker vellum but i, I really like this one so i'll keep that one too let's see Inspiration words. I want to keep that. Karaoke songs for practice. We'll go in the notes section. And then these are more cloth and paper inserts. I like this too. It's almost like note paper. So, oh, and then there's more note paper in the back. We'll keep all of that together. And at the very back, I had some project planning inserts from Franklin Covey. These are the Teresa Collins ones because I'm going to be doing some projects in the new year, so I'll keep that behind the notes in my new binder. So then the last piece is, of course, the back page lifter. And then this is the thing that you use for, like, the weekly compass cards, but I've been using the progressive task list in lieu of, so I'll just keep this back here, I think, for now. Um, I have some information that I have to carry over. I'll bring all of this stuff out. This is my gold Pentel pen. I love this pen. Um, and then the front stuff I'll take out as well. So October is pretty much done. So I'm just going to like pull it out. This is my pretty washi card from Simply Gilded. I like to keep. I like this too. This is from Cloth and Paper. 
Uh, my business card. And some stickers from Cloth and Paper. These are just like the little dots. I'll probably, these don't really match my new color, but I might keep this color in. And I'm also going to use this because this writes on my vellum sticky notes. This is a Secure Micro Perm Pen, the 0.3. And then I don't think I have anything in any of the pockets. I took everything out last time. All right, so we're just going to close up this beautiful binder. I can actually close it now. Ooh, see it was about right here before. Now I can close it all the way. Okay, so she gets set aside and now I can start filling in all of the inserts in here. Um, maybe I should wait because we will be doing the monthly setup. So if you guys have already seen, uh, this is something that's going to be changing too, um, come January. And this is, I, I guess I haven't really announced it. I was still thinking on what I was going to do for January. And I guess the official video won't be out until the end of December. But I think what I'm going to do is cancel the weekly setup in my planner. So I'll just have a monthly and the daily. And that's what my Franklin planner is basically going to be, just like the daily planner. So the monthly will be a reference only. The daily is where I'm really going to do all my work. And I I want to simplify things and not make it so complicated on myself. When you fill these binders up, they get super heavy. And that's what I want to avoid. These are the dashboards I've got from cloth and paper. I could put this at the front, maybe. We'll see. Um, so these are the two dashboards. I think I like the purpose one still. So this one will go behind the plastic piece here. Just like that. I think that looks good. I think I'll put my values behind my goals because I like having this at the beginning. I think I like this one first. I almost feel like I need a blank piece of paper behind that so it doesn't show that. Problem is I don't have a blank one unless I were to turn one of the dashboards around. That looks better. Okay, and then we've got the monthly section. The weekly section. And the daily. And then behind the notes section, maybe that's where I'll keep my task cards. There. Wow, that is sure downsizing a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put my business card back in the front pocket. And I really like this still. And I did have some other little, I thought I had other cards. Right here, I'm just gonna keep it simple this time. And I'll keep those together. And this one might be too big to stick up there. I'll put that behind the business card so it actually sticks out. Maybe I'll just leave it like that for now. I don't know if I like that, but we'll leave it for now. This one I don't have to put in there. And now we can put in all of the new 
inserts. So I've got them all here in front of me. Um, this is our goal card, so we'll do that during the weekly. This is all my note paper I have left, along with these ones here. Looks like I'm gonna have to buy some more note paper. I really like this wide ruled one that you can get from Franklin. <clears throat> okay, so we'll put everything in. This video is only gonna be for the monthly. We'll do the weekly, uh, it'll be posted tomorrow, and then the daily will be posted on Monday, I believe. So let's go to the monthly section. And then of course this will have its own little tab. So what I did here is I took the Teresa Collins beginning portion. And so I bought like the, the monthly, which is undated, which is perfect. So that's November. I also bought the daily highlights and I put it right behind. And then there's this one, which is like, I love this. It's perfect, but this is for my business, I believe. Is it business? I believe so. I already filled out the monthly, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's not, I can't remember if that's exactly right. I might have to change this. So this is the monthly for the work section. And then this is the weekly part. And then what I did is I just pull off the, oh, this is for December. Right, so I'm going to be putting, I think I'm putting November and December in just because it makes sense. These months are going to flow together for me, so I might as well just do that. So... That's the monthly section. This is the weekly for November, December. And then this is the work weekly. I only have November so far from cloth and paper, but December will be coming soon shortly. And then what I did is I took the monthly sections off the day on two page blooms inserts. And that's what I've been using for my home monthly. So literally just these two pages. So this is the index, you've got your month, and then you've got your master task list on the back. And then I do the same thing for December. And then I'll be putting all of November and all of December dailies together. So the home section comes before the work section, even though I really like this dashboard, but we'll just leave it like that for now. And then we're going to jump to the weekly. We'll just pop in the inserts. Work goes right behind. And I have been using these um, page lifters here. So these I got from my, it was like forever ago. It was Flavia, which is... Um, she worked with Daytimer and they made like these inserts. But I've just been using these page finders for this portion. Um, we'll put them, put them in after I suppose. And this is November, December home. And then we'll just put the dailies in. I'm actually can fit like two months worth of dailies in here. It's perfect. And then the note section at the back, I will put all of the extra paper. So I've got some of the paper from cloth and paper, the blank note pages, and then some project planning sheets. Now go back here. And we're all done. So I actually have two months worth in here. So that's why it still looks pretty full. But once one month is like completed, I'll just like take it out and put in, put in or take out the first month and put it into my old binder or my storage binder. So it still closes really, really nice. I like that. I have like so much room, so much better. I just feel like so organized right now. Okay. So I think I want to take these sticky notes off of here because they just, 
it's not cutting it for me. So I just used this double-sided sticky tape. And the nice thing about the vellum sticky notes is the tape isn't ruining the note. <laughs> let, me, let me see. Yeah, it just pulls off really nicely. Still that left some sticky residue, but it didn't ruin the notes. So then what I'm going to do is pull off pull off these sticky notes from the paper. And that has like residue as well. Oops. So it might just stick here. If it falls off, I'll just add some double-sided tape. That looks good. And then I was also thinking of adding these, but I think that like is almost too much. So I wonder if I should just add it here to the pocket and then I can pull them out if I need them. Sometimes what I do is I just add one. I might do that too. <clears throat> I just use the Scotch 3M double-sided tape. Just put them both at the bottom and that's it. Okay, so it looks good. I think I'm happy with this setup. This is bugging me though. I really want to round the corner. So I'm just using this CAD, what is it? CAD, CAD Omero hole punch or hole punch, corner rounding punch. I'll link this down below. It's just from Amazon. And then Maybe what we'll do is put it like so, just to kind of like show some different different areas of the planner pockets. All right, you guys, so let's jump to the monthly section. So now when I do my monthly planning, I actually, before I even touch my Franklin planner, because I am filming it for you guys, I do kind of plan out my month ahead of time. Uh, currently, this is what I'm doing for 2021. I am using a Happy Planner Home, Happy Planner Work, and I'm using a Cultivate What Matters Goal Setter Planner. So it's basically where I establish my goals and then I put everything else into those other planners. I've also been using an Erin Condren and that was like my original filming planner. So that's why I have like the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren. Otherwise I wouldn't have had an Erin Condren, but the Happy Planner is just so easy for work. And yeah. Um, things will be changing in January. It's going to be exciting. So what we need to do is kind of go through the old month. This is for October. And then we'll, we'll talk about each of like, we'll do the goals first. I guess that makes mo the most sense. We'll work on the personal goals first. We're not planning out November here. We're just going to start with, or we're not planning out December, just November. So I'll take out the personal section or October. We did not finish paying off our one credit card um, and it's only because we kept charging on it. So like I would budget, I think our budget would be under every week when Chad came home, we'd always spend more and it would go on that credit card. So the end of November, it should be paid off. Actually the middle of November, it'll be paid off. We didn't do that. I have been sticking to the budget month system. It's just I, I do need to reevaluate my budget every week. Um, our paychecks are different too. They're not the same every week. Meditate, I failed so bad. It is something I really want to start, so I'm not ready to cross it off. So journaling activities, I did everything. So like the tarot, the oracle journaling I did, the prompts I did. Um, I had knocked both of those back to once a week, so I was perfect for October. That was great. And even... The last week that Chad was home, I actually read the entire time and I journaled the entire time. So I was really proud of myself. 
um, form night routine, I kind of did. I have been going to bed earlier, so I've been making it to bed by 1130, which is awesome for me. So that's good. And I did read a lot. So, um, oh yeah, I finished this one too. <laughs> the only, I, I did start Outlander, but you guys know like that book is like this big and I just started the end of October. So I won't be finishing that until November. And then Moon Magic is a new book I want to read. Um, moving on, we'll just do like personal goals for November. And I will be working off of my Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner, which is right here. I know I've mentioned this in the past, but a lot of you are new and you may not have seen my links or anything. I do have an affiliate link for the Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner. So the new one just got released for 2022. It just got released October 6th. So if you're interested in getting that, I would be so honored if you guys would support me and use my link. It would give me an affiliate income. It's an affiliate link but I do receive a very small portion and it's at no extra cost to you. So if you do want to support me, that is a way and I'll have all of the links and everything in this video down below. So just go ahead and check that out if you want to, but this is my new uh, goals for November. Um, I do have the video up. I'll link it right now if you want to check it out, but uh, we actually have a lot going on. So there's um, a whole bunch. There's actually three appointments I have to take my kids to. And it's basically prep month for December. And so here's a quick question for y'all, if you would be so kind as to, to help me out with this. So November, I already have like all of my videos scheduled. Um, this Franklin weekly plan with me and monthly plan with me and the budget videos are relatively new. So I've kind of added them in top on top of my lineup, which I already had in place. Um, before I was only filming Tuesdays and Fridays and my makeup video would be mo makeup Monday so I was filming three times a week in total and since I've added the budget and the plan with me I am filming five times a week again which I was trying not to because it is overwhelming it is stressful at times so uh, my plan was to keep it like this for all of November December we're going to do plan miss where I show how I plan my in all of my planners every single day from the 1st to the 25th of December then I'll also have a weekly vlog, so I'll take little snippets from every single day and then post it on the Sunday. And I'm not going to plan on my planner on Sunday. I'll basically have the day off because that stuff, like I'll post the like the vlog miss, the weekly vlog miss on Saturday night for Sunday. So I'll take Sunday off as a day to myself, and then start again fresh every Monday. So because I'm posting from the first of December to the twenty fifth. I was planning on posting all of the large setup videos, like the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So that's six different videos. And I'll tell you guys the videos. One is my budget mom set up for 2022. The next one is my Cultivate What Matters prep work and setting up my January goals. The next one is setting up my Franklin planner for 2022. The next one is setting up my passion planner. That's a whole nother story. I'm actually going to be doing like a setup slash comparison video. And then the next one is my bullet journal setup. And then potentially the next one is how I use my happy planner work. I will still be using a planner, a happy planner, Franken planned happy planner actually for my work only because I do have so many sections to take care of. And like I said, I'm downgrading my Franklin planner. That's going to be my daily planner where the monthly section, like I said, is just for reference. And the daily will be like all of the daily tasks I need to do because I do like the thought of having that in a binder as opposed to a bound notebook. And and until actually just until this, this uh, fall release for Happy Planner, I never saw a daily planner for Happy Planner. But in fall, like just you know, a few weeks ago, they released a daily planner. Uh, they used to only have like the, the filler paper. And so I don't, I, I didn't want to jump back on the happy, happy planner bandwagon because I did that all last year and all the year before. So I wanted to change my system and try new things. So this time um, I am the two new things are the Franklin planner and the passion planner. And I won't have an Aaron Condren this come upcoming year. And Happy Planner will be more behind the scenes work. And the bullet journal is changing as well. So I'll explain all about that in my upcoming December bullet journal setup. That will be 
towards the end of this month for, for November, I guess. So anyway, so let's go to the goals section for my personal. And now these are my stickers that I hand make. These are what's in my shop. I did get this sticker book from Amazon. It's an Erin Condren sticker book. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have that link down below for you too. And I do have monthly goals. I made one, so happy. So all I do is I cross out the notes here. And I notice I never really use these sections, but I want to, so I might just put like important like dates here instead of like the goals. There we go. Okay, so we have a few goals. Okay, I'll just do this and I'll fast forward through this part so you guys. Okay, so these are all of my personal goals. So we're going to pay off work on two debt areas here. I did say organize just the DVDs. It's such a pain in the butt right now because we're taking all of our DVDs out of the cases and putting them in like those media entertainment cases. And we were going to throw out the, the actual like plastic cases, but we decided to just keep them in a box in the basement for eventually if we ever move into a new home. I thought I would do it by the end of October and I ran out of time and room because I filled a 400 slot case and we still have like a thousand more movies to go. I did not realize we had so many movies. So yeah, um, I'm going to have to move this one to November. So setting up my December bullet journal is going to be a huge deal because I'm actually going to change the way I'm doing my bullet journal um, as of December because I am planning in my Franklin planner now. And I'm going to be using, I don't know if I'm using my passion planner yet for December. I want to, but because I still have weeklies in my Franklin planner, maybe I'll just use those more often and just cancel some of the things in my bullet journal and set up some new things. So my December bullet journal is crazy because it's Christmas and I have lots of different Christmassy spreads in there. And it's always a pretty popular video, even though I go, I know you, most of you guys are here for the Franklin video, but if you do want to see what bullet journaling is all about, I'd advise you to go take a look at my last one, which was November. I'll link that one for you as well. Um, I started on my channel with bullet journaling, and that was kind of where I started from. Um, I was inspired by Amanda Rachelie. I'm sure many of you have heard of her. Uh, she is Canadian, uh, lives in Ontario. Uh, she has over 2 million subscribers right now on YouTube, and um, everybody loves loves her bullet journal like she's very inspiring so that's kind of where I started but I have always been a planner girl I've always loved having the neatness and organization of a planner as well so that's why I have multiple but yeah this is going to be really exciting and it's exciting for me to to be artistic with I love that my October budget closeout so in the budget mom planner you guys the just just the closeout of a monthly budget is more work than the entire rest of the month. So I'll be working on that in the next couple of days because I'm filming this video on the 30th. I'm going to have three books read this month, hopefully. The 12 week year, which is a really good book. Um, this is kind of part of the goal system I'm working on. So you're supposed to consider each 12 month period in the year as its own year. And it's supposed to help you get be more productive. I'll leave it down below in the description box. If you guys want to check it out, you can. I can't remember the author's names. There's like two or three authors. But yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a book about productivity and just goal setting in general. So it's something that I'm thinking of working on this potential year just because I want to focus on my business for, you know, the last couple of years to, to like this year and then maybe 2023 and then see if I can like pull back a little bit. And maybe, you know, get help and maybe take more time off, maybe go on vacations and actually enjoy time with my kids. My kids are younger, so it's been pretty difficult um, to try to start up my business. So I, that's one of my goals as well. So Outlander and Moon Magic. Outlander, I'm on the Breath of Snow and Ashes. And I did hear that the next season of Outlander is going to be airing in January, but I think there's only eight seasons. I don't know how I feel about that. And then save for Christmas and parents. That's part of like the whole budget mom system. And then the last thing is the Sephora VIB Rouge haul. 
and that is going to be happening on November 5th. That's something that is one of my goals. I am saving for that as well, and I already have my cart lined up and ready to go, just kind of like hemming and hawing on a few different things. So as for important dates, I've got um, my daughter's immunizations, I've got my daughter's doctor's appointment on the 4th, and then I've got my son's I exam on the 4th as well. My mom's birthday is, oh, before we do my mom's birthday, I actually have, we are going to Red Deer. We're going to Red Deer on the 10th, 11th, and 12th. So I'm going to have to do a packing list. November 14th is my mom's birthday. And that's on the Sunday. So November 13th is date night. Um, my niece's birthday is November 16th. And yeah, the Rouge Hall is already here. I will highlight that because I just want to remember. And monthly, if there's anything else I need to add, I'll just add it in this section here. All right. So I think that's it for like kind of goals and stuff. And then moving on to the actual calendar. So I guess there's nothing really to review on this calendar it's just basically kind of how i want to set up my calendar but i'll put in all of the dates and stuff so you guys can just watch me do that and we'll be really quick with that and we'll be right back um what i might do is just go ahead and do the master task list for the month as well so this one is just going to be for personal um, similar to what I did here. Um, this one actually wasn't really long. I did have like both spots, but anything that I haven't finished or that I won't be finishing by the time the end of this month is up, I'll move it to next month. So we're done the month. Um, I'm just going to quickly head over to the, sorry, I have my phone flipped upside down because I'm, I'm charging it at the same time. So I'm probably not even within like the proper space of my camera here. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the master task list now. We'll quickly write it out. So, I mean, in comparison overall, I'm actually pretty busy, but I'm glad all these appointments are within the first week just so I can get them out of the way. We do have picture retakes and I do need to plan to get something for both of these birthdays. But um, other than that, I just put like, I use like, <laughs> these are so cute. This is Once More With Love. And then these are from Let's Plan It. So I'll link those down in the description box too, if you want to check those websites out. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. And yeah, I just put my Sephora sale here. So I remind myself Sephora sale because that's going to be like 20% off everything from Sephora for myself. I'm a, a Rouge member. And yeah. And then this is just like the yard waste day for seasonal stuff. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff to throw out. And oh yeah, this is like my favorite sticker ever. So I drew these. I hand drew them. And I have a white Jeep. I have a white Jeep, ring, white Jeep Wrangler. And this is perfect because we are going to Red Deer um, for those days. So 
we'll just put red deer here and um yeah so that should be good but we're gonna have a busy a whole busy week when chad's home chad comes home one o'clock in the morning on tuesday we're leaving wednesday so we'll have to pack i'll put that on my master list we'll be gone thursday friday so we'll have to bring my budget stuff with me and then we'll come back Friday, have date night Saturday. My mom's birthday is on Sunday. Um, we'll be busy Monday cleaning the house and stuff. Picture retakes on here and then my niece's birthday. So it's going to just be ridiculous. It's going to be crazy. So yeah. But anyway, let's flip over to the next side. Okay, guys, I think that's pretty much it. My list is pretty small this time around, and I'm pretty sure there's something else I was thinking of last night that I forgot to add to this list, but I usually just kind of like add to it as I go. Um, I'll just write Sephora sale, and that's it. I actually have more business tasks to do this month, so um, the business one will be a, a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna put the October stuff away, pop this back in my planner, um, and just to kind of double check here, a lot of this stuff, like even the bullet journal, that stuff I'll put under my work. Um, yeah, so for the most part, my my shop sale, I'm going to have a shop sale. It's going to be black for Black Friday. It's like the 26, 27, 28, 29 runs from Friday to Monday. So I think, what did I say? I think it's going to be 25% off everything in my shop. So if you guys want a good deal, shop on that weekend. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be good. So that's it for my personal monthly planning. I can't believe we're only like halfway done. Okay. This video and my sticky tabs fell out. Looks like I need that double-sided tape after all. So monthly, and then we're just going to pop this back in. And then we're going to head over to the business side of things. So yeah, it's going to be weird. Because I, I know that I've got December in here too. So this is work. And I'm just going to... Work is already pretty much done. But there's just a few things I need to change. And then we'll still write out this as well. So I think my plan here is to write out my main goals on the work section. We'll take a look at October here just so I'm not missing anything. Okay, so we did actually pretty good. I haven't done my stats yet because I'm um, technically that's for, I always do like the month before on the first of the new month. So I'll technically put that on here. So maybe I should just write that in. So the first one is October stats. I always cover my stats, my financials, um, anything to do with my sales. I write in all the information in my work planner. That's why I have a separate work planner. You guys, there is so much information to track and take care of. Um, I did make my affiliate sales. I haven't gotten paid though, because there's like a limit that you have to like make up to in order to get paychecks. Um, I do have my new affiliate marketing. Oh, another affiliate company I'm working with now is Stationery Pal. I have ordered from Stationery Pal so many times and if you guys are into stationary brush pens anything like that they are the company that gets the new brush pens first i have a coupon code down below it's sandra doll click on the link and then use that code you get 12 percent off you guys that seems like pretty high for 
an affiliate company, but 12% is awesome. And they do get all the new brush pens. That's where I got my, um, when they released the Zebra Mild Liner Highlighter brush pens. So they had the highlighter first, but then they came out with the brush pen version. When they first released those, the only three colors like were the original three packs. The two new colors were on Stationery Pal pretty much before anywhere else besides, of course, for Zebra because that's the company who makes them. Um, and their the shipping is so fast. Like the product comes pretty quickly. And I think it comes from China. Like it, it was crazy. So they're highly, I highly, highly recommend their website. They always give you like a cute little freebie in your order. And um, yeah, they, they do have a lot of nice pens. So I'd highly recommend to check out Stationery Pal. The link is below. Um, I got monetized. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, all because of you guys. Like, that is so freaking awesome. So thank you. I can't say thank you enough. Uh, sticker shop sale. We did have a couple of sales this month. Again, this stats will do again. And rate blogs to end of December. I still have one left. Um, and that will be this upcoming Wednesday. I've got two more blogs to write. And I'll already be into January. So... We're good there. Filming. So all of my videos I want to film, I write them here. And then I can check them off as I go. So videos to film. And then biz tasks. I can put tasks, I guess. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so this video is so crazy long. Oh my god. Okay, right now, uh, before, well, this is of course before I started editing, it's at an hour and 44 minutes. So we will reduce it. I think that's it. So I did make the changes. So this is what I was trying to say before, and I think I got distracted. So the videos I was going to do here in, in preparation for plan miss and vlog miss for December, I was going to fit in some of these videos, all of like the new year setups, but I'm going to do those at the end of December. I know it's a long wait, and honestly, it would make sense to do the power sheet prep work sooner. If you guys really want me to do it sooner, I'll have to post them on like a same day as like another video in December sometime because I haven't filmed any of them yet. So it would be in, or it would, it would either be November or December. So if you guys want to see it earlier, let me know. It's very important that you let me know because, um, otherwise these videos will be posting the last like week of December, um, because I'm going to go ahead and film them. I'm going to edit them 
but I won't have them scheduled until the end of December. So if you do want to see them early, like if it would benefit you, especially the power sheet one or the budget mom or something like that, then let me know and I will post them earlier. It'll throw up the schedule and there'll be less videos at the end of December, but it doesn't really matter. I just need your input. Um, otherwise, like I said, I'll leave them as is and there's going to be a lot of them. So the other planner that I'm going to, that I've already ordered, it's coming. It's called the Legend Planner and you can get them from Amazon. It's also undated and it is, it's very comparable to the Passion Planner. So I'm going to get them both side by side. We'll kind of, I'll show you how I'm going to use it, what my purpose is, um, compare the two planners. And just to show you guys that, I guess I'll talk about price too, because there is a price difference depending where you live. If you're in the States and you're buying States products, it's usually cheaper for you because you don't have to pay an arm and a load for shipping and handling. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk to you about all of that stuff. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be busy for me for November. So all of these will be filmed in November, I'm hoping. So, and uh, what else? These are all the videos I have to film for regular, like scheduled videos for November. And I'm pretty sure there's other tasks I need to do here, but I can't think of anything else. So um, potentially, oh yeah, I'm going to have to do a station, like a washi tape declutter. I never did that. Yeah, why don't I just keep adding to the list, make it longer. All right, so that is it. Officially, that is the end of this like monthly planner setup. So I'm going to pull this planner back. I'm going to put these two sheets behind. And yeah, we're officially done the month. And that was just a month, you guys. So behind that month, behind the schedule, I'm going to put my blog information. So these are all the blogs I have scheduled and already written. And yeah, so that's it. So I'll just give you a quick flip through because... It's kind of cute. I just, I'm really appreciative of how it closes now. The other one was just getting so thick and it feels a lot lighter. So I like that. So here's the front of it. I think it's beautiful. So the only thing that kind of bugs me is that the goals tab is white and a white background and the rest are clear. <laughs> it's driving me crazy, actually. I don't know if there's something I could replace it with. There's nothing else that has goals on here, so I don't know. I think I'll leave it for now. Just It bugs me. So I've got info. Basically just like um, a couple of passwords. I don't leave my passwords on here really, but there's a few things on there that I want to keep private. Um, goals. So this is just simply my thing that I made, my quarterly goals. And then I, that was the values, so not the actual goals. So goals and values. Then I've got the monthly setup, and this is what we covered today. So the future log is at the beginning. I've got my monthly journaling prompt card here. My monthly goals. Um, my monthly highlights. And then the actual schedule. I really like that sticker. It sticks out so well. My master task. And then, of course, I've got December, so it'll be easy to plan for December when it comes. November. And then my blog, and then my tasks. And then December, and then we go to the weeklies, which we'll cover tomorrow. So yeah, so this weekly will be personal and business, same as that. And then that's Sunday, and then Monday, we I'll show you how I plan daily. So the only thing I have to remind myself is not to fill out my daily Sunday night. I always do. And the reason why I do that is so I'm more prepared the next morning, but I will hold off. I will film with you guys on Monday and then we'll post it right after. So you can see how my functional planning, but I do like to use stickers and stuff and decorate a little bit during the monthly and the weekly, but the daily is strictly functional. I use, I just use a pen. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the whole schedule towards the end of December. And give this video some love, give it some likes. Um, let me know if you loved it, give me a comment. 
and subscribe if you are new here. I would love to have you. And again, click that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And we shall see you next time. I guess tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah.